Now it's time to take on that wood furniture with some help from our partners at Real Simple. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and oil your wood furniture so it looks shiny and new. And I thought there's no better piece of furniture to demo this on than my wood coffee table because this is where I do everything. This is my home office a lot of days, this is where I watch TV, and I'll admit I sometimes even eat dinner here. So because I use it so frequently, it gets pretty dirty. Luckily, cleaning your wood furniture only takes a couple minutes. I'm gonna show you guys how. First, you wanna take everything off of the table. Then grab a damp microfiber cloth and use it to wipe away any dust or grime that is on the wood furniture. Using a second clean, dry microfiber cloth, you wanna completely dry the surface. Because as you probably already know, if you've ever neglected to use coasters, leaving water on a wood surface will leave a mark. Now, if you found any sticky spots when you were cleaning the furniture, you just wanna take another damp microfiber cloth and a dab of grease cutting dish soap and use it to work out any of the grime. Then you just wanna wipe down the surface of the table one more time with a damp microfiber cloth followed by a dry microfiber cloth. Unlacquered wood furniture will dry out over time, especially during the winter months when the air in your home is naturally drier. So what you wanna do is grab some wood oil. Today I'm using wood oil that's actually food grade and antimicrobial. So you can use it on your wood cutting boards or if you have wood countertops in your kitchen. Then you wanna apply the oil pretty liberally onto the furniture and use a paper towel to distribute it across the surface. Let this soak in for about one hour. Okay, grab just one more clean cloth and use it to wipe away any excess oil and buff the oil into the surface. And voila, after re-oiling the wood table, it looks so much better. Now, the process of re-oiling your wood furniture will also prevent cracking, which will help it last for many years. All great tips. And tomorrow on Clean Sweep focuses on those bruised and battered baking sheets. I have a couple of those.